A man while sitting on an oscillating swing whistles at a frequency 1000 Hz. The swing is oscillating with an amplitude plus minus pi by 6 radian about the mean position in a vertical plane. Man is sitting over the swing which is at a distance of 2 meter from the point of suspension of the swing. Another man standing just in front of the mean position of the swing hears the whistle. The maximum frequency heard by the man standing in front of the swing is. Now you need to understand that with this support the man is swinging something like this. Forward and backward at an angle of theta, where theta is pi by 6. And you can say this is the source. And there is an observer standing over here. So that means definitely VO is 0. Now you can say the source is moving to and forth. But here they want in the question the maximum frequency heard by the observer which means they want the apparent frequency to be greater than the original frequency for which the source have to travel towards the observer. Which means we are supposed to take this case and not the other way around. And that means the sound is also traveling towards the observer which is by default. So basically the formula of an apparent is going to be n into v upon v minus vs because the observer is not moving and the source is moving in the same direction as the sound. Now we need to calculate first the speed of source over here. For that we need to apply certain concepts like here we can say the length of the swing is L which is given as 2 meter over here it's also 2 meter but this part is somewhat different or less than the 2 meter so let's call this height up to which the swing rises as h which means this part or you can see over here is l minus h now in this triangle if you apply cos theta it is going to be l minus h by l which can also be written as 1 minus h by l which means h by l as 1 minus cos theta and that means h as l bracket 1 minus cos theta so from this height it falls down so can i say at this point it is the potential energy which gets converted into kinetic energy at this point so by law of conservation of energy we can say mgh the potential energy gets converted into half m vs square so m gets cancelled we get 2 gh is equal to vs square we can substitute this h over here and so we get vs is equal to root of 2 gl bracket 1 minus cos theta now if we try and calculate this we get root of 2 into gs 10 L is given as 2, 1 minus cos pi by 6, pi by 6 is 30 degree, cos 30 degree is root 3 by 2. Now let me warn you over here, the calculation is quite difficult, so please pay attention to the steps. So we get root of 2 into 10, 20 into 2, 40 into 2 minus root 3 as 1.732 by 2. So this 2 gets cancelled over here with 20 and 2 minus 1.732 is going to be 0 0.268. 0 0.268 into 20 will be actually equal to root of 5.36. Now we need to substitute this root of 5.36 in this formula. So we get n apparent is equal to n which is original 1000 into v velocity of sound in air is 332 upon it is 332 minus 5.36 ka root now again as i said the calculation is quite difficult and since all the options are very close by the calculation is very important now 5.36 as we can say 
it's going to be less than 2.5 because 2.5 is like uh, 6.25 and it has to be greater than 2 because it is 2 ka square is 4 right so 2 and 2.5 ke beech mein somewhere we have 2.3 so let's try 2.3 ka square what we get is 9 6 6 4 5.29 so as you can see it's the closest value we can have over here so I can assume the square root of 5.36 as 2.3 now substituting that we get n apparent as 1000 into 332 upon 332 minus 2.3 which is 329.7 now if I simplify this it is going to be 1000 into 3320 by 3297 I have shifted one decimal over here and added one zero over here. Now if I divide this by three, we get one zero nine nine and this as one one zero six point six seven. Correct? So I'm going an approximation over here, a very tiny approximation, mind you. It's one thousand into double one zero six point six seven upon i'm rounding this off to eleven hundred so this helps me cancel this two zeros and we can multiply this 10 over here and then divide it by 11 we get one one double one double, double one zero double six point seven by 11 which will be approximately one zero zero six point something the closest answer we have is 1,007 hertz and that is your final answer.